back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. As always, I am Oz, and just look at this place. It is starting to look real nice. Uh, in the interim, I went ahead and finished this ring of jungle wood slabs. So let's just head up there real quick. Uh, I've also put these little benches in, which will house our flower pots uh, once we update to 1.4. Now look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Oh yeah. Uh, there's going to be a tiny little balcony out the front up here. Uh, these torches are uh, just here for lighting. I'll put uh, glass blocks or panels up here. That way when you're walking along you can still get a decent view outside. We don't want to spoil the view. Now this is an interesting thing that I really do like. Uh, of course, uh, this is a circle. It's a, a perfect circle. But if you, look at the, if you look at it while you've got the fountain in your field of vision, it makes it look square. See, this this sort of looks squarish here, which I think is a, is a nice optical illusion. So, that's a, that's a keeper. That's fantastic. Now, if you're wondering what these gaps are, how we've got, you know, two, then we've got a gap, then we've got three, and then we've got a gap, etc, etc. Uh, I'm actually going to be placing glowstone blocks there, uh, which will act as our lighting for the for these blocks here, because mobs will be able to spawn on these, because they're not... Uh, they're not half, uh, right way up half slabs. So, any space in this ring here will be a glowstone block, eventually. Of course, we will need to go to the nether, uh, which we'll be doing at the very end of this episode. So, huzzah, we'll be going to the nether. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's just hop down here. Ow. Not supposed to help me. Stupid water. Okay, so, this episode, we've moved our chest back inside, give it a nice little home. <laughs> it's our first resident. This episode, we have a lot of stuff to cover. We have furnaces, we're going to be implementing our furnaces today. We've got a fair amount of ores and lapis blocks, which uh, I'll be using to peter out a few suggestions for the back wall. We've got some jungle wood uh, in case we need to put a bit more of this up. We've got a flint and steel for lighting our nether portal at the end of the episode, and we've also got these diamonds. Because, as you'll see in my inventory, my iron armor is pretty shocking. It's not really offering me much protection. So, we will be enchanting a full set of diamond armor. As you can see, I'm already on level 30. And so, we'll do our first one now. We'll do the chest plate. Whoops. There we go. Alright, let's craft up. Oh, so exciting. Diamond chest plate. Yeah, yeah. Are we this way? No, we're the other way. Ah, oh, damn these orientations. I'm getting turned around every single episode. You'd think by now I'd know where everything was. I've spent ten episodes here, for Christ's sakes. Okay, let's enchant. Uh, well, I don't want to go with the first one. Let's go with the fourth one. So that's one, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, curses. Fire protection four, really? Oh, I won't equip it just yet. Okay. So now I'm going to go grind out on the spider spawner. That one I have down there. And once I hit level 30, I think that'll be about 160 odd spiders. Once that's done, I'll come back here and enchant uh, some diamond leggings. Be back in about oh, 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, and we are back. Alright, let's get our diamond leggings up. Whoops. There we go. Right, time for an enchant. Dive. Okay, let's see if we can't get something. Oops, I didn't craft it. Whoops. No, I don't want you. Oh, I could enchant that as well. I think that'll take too long, though. Alright. Let's do an enchant. Uh, this one, I'll go for the first one. Blast protection. <laughs> oh, blast. Blast indeed. 
Hoi. Alright. Back to the spider spawner, and then we'll go for a helmet. Be back in a tick. Back again, guys. Alright, time for the helmet. All that's left after this will be our diamond booties. Okay, let's see if we can get something real nice here. I'm hoping for... I'm hoping for the works. The works will be... Don't come back here ever again. <laughs> I'll beat your ass, your undead ass. Oh, better eat up. Okay, time for enchanting. Number number eight. Come on, something good, something good. Thank you. That is perfect. Okay, well it's not perfect, perfect, but it. Pretty darn good. Oh yeah. That's actually the best diamond helmet I've ever enchanted. Outside of a test world. <laughs> okay. Let's just craft these up. Now I only want to go to level 20... 22 for these because it's my best chance of getting feather falling. I think. Yeah, 22. So I'll be back in a bit, guys. Alright guys, and we're out and we're on level 22. Oops, and I was going to go the wrong way again. I'm glad I caught myself in time. Alright. Now, let's go enchant the pair of diamond boots and we will be done. Alright, I want to go... Oops, I haven't um fixed that. Alright. Let's see. We're at 20, 24. That should do it. Okay. What number do we want? I'm going to go 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Come on, feather falling! Bitch! Son of a bitch! Bitch, bitch, bitch! Oh, that sucks. Should I knew I should have gone for 12. <laughs> All right, we'll just stick these back in our episode chest. Oops. There we go. Bit of OCD there. Okay, and next up will be our furnaces. Our furnace eye. <laughs> uh, gotta love the English language. All right. All right. All right. Alright, so our furnaces are going to be on the second floor along these side area corridors here. Of course, the front will be our balcony. The back, I'm still not sure what to put up there. I think it'll be a, mostly dependent on what I have down here. And, of course, we'll do that later in the episode. Okay, so what I was thinking was, we'll have a cascading water effect here. Then we'll have a three space gap for um, something a little later on. And then we'll have the cascading water again. So, here's something that I was thinking. Like this. And then you just have... I'd have three, three blocks of space here for something else in case I needed it. Like a storage space for coal or something like that. Ow. <laughs> That's the hazard of not having your glowstone in place yet people. <laughs> Alright. Now, how high did I want this? I think I wanted it three high. There we go. Just got to build our scaffolding. Scaffolding is very important with people, and I should know, because I work construction <laughs> as my day job. Okay, so I don't have enough furnaces to do the second side. Now, oh, do I have any sandstone on me? Okay. Let's just hop up here. Now, hmm, how do I want to do this? 
Well, actually, I might I might need to do a four high. Oh, where's my? There we are. Yeah, I think I might do four high. Where are my furnaces? There we go. Why must you do this to me, game? You're making me look bad in front of my constituents. There we go. Okay, now. So <laughs> now that we're back on track. I was thinking that... Need something just quickly. Okay. There we go. Get out dirt. Dirt McGirt. I was thinking that we would have stone ha uh, stone brick half slabs going up like this just to match the sort of pattern that we have here with our stone brick as well and let's just boop and just put a block of the a block of dirt there to get across what I'm trying to do okay whoops so we'd have one block of water there and you want to stop doing that buddy and one block of water there and that would basically be the idea so we'd have uh, 16 32 furnaces so that would be a total of 64 we'd have 32 furnaces per side and we just have something like that and hidden behind a nice waterfall now of course uh, the sandstone stairs here will drip water, but we have uh, flower pots under there, so it sort of acts like an irrigation system. So I think that creates a nice little, you know, a nice little continuity in my head. You know, oh, it's dripping down, but that's okay because it's for the plants. <laughs> so I like that. I I very much like that. Uh, we can take down this pillar and get rid of the scaffolding. Okay, so I think that is going to be the design that I run with for the furnaces. The furnaces. Was well, so I going to have that back another one? No. No, no, that works fine. And this will be a stack of... This will rise up here. This will be a column of stone brick. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Because I don't want to show... I don't want these showing. So I think that's what I will end up a doing. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Next up. <laughs> we want to do some work on the rear wall. Now, I've had a few suggestions. I've had suggestions of waterfalls with redstone lamps. Um, I don't really. Oops. I don't really want to do a waterfall up the back because I want the main water feature to be to be I want it to be this this pool in the middle and if I did a waterfall I'd kind of feel obligated to have it uh, flow into the fountain yeah I the, the waterfall idea it's it's a good one but I just think that with the setup I have going here it wouldn't, it would just tick me off constantly and I'd end up changing it anyways. So uh, one of the other ideas that was given to me uh, by a couple of people was to use ore. These, some ores. Uh, one suggested, uh, suggested, I'm just not talking English today. Uh, one suggestion was a red, black and blue mosaic. Now, I don't have a whole lot of lapis lazuli, or not lupus, or lapis lazuli, lazuli. <laughs> I 
It's a pet peeve. Uh, that was one suggestion to do a mosaic with these. Uh, put it up the back. And one other suggestion was to use something blue as a as a contrast to the sandstone. So something like, you know, you, it, here's right. Um, I think it was Axe2013 who suggested uh, using something blue. And I do agree with him. Blue and, and the light colors do make a good contrast. That's why I love lapis. It's such a fantastic decorative block. So, I'm thinking we could do both. Now, what do I want to put down here? I think I might use grass again. Uh, do I have grass? Oh, I don't have much. Whoops. Oh, alright. I'm back. Oh, I'm just going to go over here, get a quick bit of grass, come back. Okay, so we've put our grass in place. Uh, I'm just going to do a bit of work here. So, here's the idea. We will do... Hmm. I'm making up the idea as I go along. <laughs> yep, okay. So, the idea here is, I'll just use a bit of dirt. No, I'll use some gravel to explain the idea. I'll have uh, a row of the mosaic reaching up to about here. So, reaching up to about the four, uh, four blocks high. And then in front of that, I'll have lapis, 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 lapis. So, I'll have five, and they'll reach up four high as well. So let's give that a go. I want to be a bit random with how I use this. Of course, true randomness, randomnimity, <laughs> whatever you, whatever word you want to use. Getting it to be exact is a bit hard to do, so I'm just going to do the crazy man approach and spray it liberally. Okay. Now, I want to get rid of that, that, that. And I just broke through the other side, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Time for redstone. Hmm. Oh, actually, let's get my lapis out and get that out of the way because it's lesser amount. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll only make it three high then. Oh no, we could make it four. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go one. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And the rest of it will be redstone. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let's see how that looks from the front of the house. Damn, that does look good. Thank you for the suggestion. I think it was either Dorian Gray or Alconisha Creations FTW. I'm sorry, I can't remember exactly which one of you two it was. Um, but once again, thank you. That was a good idea. Okay, let's just see how Lapis looks in front of here. Let's see how it looks too high. Hmm... No, that looks dumb. Okay. Okay, so that idea didn't work out. <laughs> light up, light up, wee! Glowing redstone and stuff. Hmm. But no, that looks really, really nice. Oh, I'm happy with that. 
Maybe um, I'll use the lapis up, up on this part of the second floor. Yeah. I think I might go with that. Grow back, you damn grass. <laughs> okay, so that puts that... That that's done. That's good. I'm happy with that. That looks mwah, bellissimo. Right, let's put you all back here. Now, time for the finale. We're gonna go light up our portal. Now we have a portal up there on One Tree Hill. But we'll head over there in just a minute. Uh, give me a sec to empty out all my stuff. I'll be there in a jiffy. All right, guys, and we're back, and we're about to go into our nether portal. That's right, we're back at the old, the ruins of the old house. You go on, you guys remember, I put another portal up here. I'm not going to waste an excuse to come back here and light up. <laughs> Alright, let's head in here. This place is a freaking mess. Alright, let's ride it down. There is our portal. In the ruins of the old house, we will head into hell. <laughs> We descend into hell. Boop. Ooh, here we go. I am stacked up to the bones. Got my full set diamond armor. We got diamond swords. We got diamond picks. We got diamond shovels. We got a powerful bow. And we got plenty of food and stuff for tide pillaring. Let's go.